What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Um, it is me, Jasmine Janice. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching my videos. Thanks for the support. Ooh, wig trying to get out of control. Um, obviously, y'all are here to see this look. So, before we get started, make sure you subscribe, like, share, tell everybody, tell your friends. I don't care. Tell everybody. Um, but I'm not going to drone on like usual. Let's just get into it. Let's do what we got to do. Okay, so first you see I've already done my eyebrows off camera. I'm going to take my NARS Creamy Radiant and I'm going to use that as a base. Uh, first I wanted to make sure it would blend well because I already used my shape tape from Tarte on my, um, for my brows. So I didn't want it to like look weird and look funny looking as a base. So I just used my NARS as a lighter one. I'm going to pat that in and I just wanted to make sure it was all ready to go and it was ready to go so we're gonna get into this look you know gonna get it popping you already know so now that we have that base on there you can see it's a lot brighter I'm gonna take this morphe blending brush and I'm gonna go into my morphe like a boss artistry palette and I'm gonna start off with this light tan um, I just really wanted to see how dark I wanted to go with my transition color. Um, this base was very sticky, which is good. Good for the makeup. I'm like, I, it came out really good. But as far as what I'm used to blending on and stuff like that, because I don't use my NARS too often as a base, um, it turned out really good. It's just I had the wrong brush for what I was trying to do. So it took me a lot longer than I wanted it to take me. But um, I'm just used to, see, I'm just going a little bit above my crease and in my crease. And I go with this darker brown next to it. And it just started getting really dark. Mind you, I have on all black. I don't really care how dark my eyeshadow is. As uh, long as I get a little pop of color in there. If not, it's just because I'm in a mood. But um, I did this look with no ring light. So I really wanted y'all to be able to see really well. Uh, I'm going to go and scoot in a little bit later on throughout the video and really try to get y'all to see me blending this out because first you see it's like getting a harsh line above where my eyebrow is and I'm just going with a light tan color to blend that out. See there I go scooting closer but I really wanted y'all to see and I was trying to soak up this daylight because I am in front of my window trying to just excuse me singing. I have to use music to like speed up my little makeup time you would think it would take me longer but it actually frees me up and I'm not overthinking what I'm trying to do because I did not find this look anywhere I didn't look up what I was trying to do I didn't even know what color I wanted to do so I go in and I put tape on in the middle of doing this because I was like oh yeah I meant to put that on that's why I got up to go find it so I'm just gonna go from there and clean up whatever I went outside the line with concealer but it wasn't too bad I'm still blending that together and you can see it turned out really good. I could have left it how it was, but later on I decided that I was going to use purple and I was just like, forget it. I'm just going to put black on, which usually I don't do too often because I don't want it to... People say my eyes look big, but I feel like they're kind of small from like how wide I open them. I know you can still see my eyeshadow, but people say I have big eyes. I think I have really small eyes, so I try to refrain from doing a big smoky look. First I went in with the purple. And I was just like, well, let's just see how this is. Because I didn't want it to be too dark. So I'm going to mix it in with the black. And it actually, in, in the light and everything, it's not as dark as it may seem. It's actually more of a blue-black. And I, I, I like that more than just jet black. One of these days, I'm, I'm going to do like a jet, jet black look. And throw some glitter on it. Some dark black glitter. And see if it turns out really well. I've seen it look like that. And I really want to try it. But for now. You're going to just get this little easy basic. I was too scared to go all the way with it. So I'm just going to blend it out. And hope it look good. Look. Okay. Y'all going to just get what I give y'all. <laughs> but it still turned out bomb. Even if you worried or you don't know what you're doing. Like when I got about here. In this look. Even though it was blending together. I was very afraid of what I was going to do on my actual lid. I had no idea. And I was like, oh, purple. I was like, purple always looks good. It does. If you have metal, melanin, it's, it, purple is a color for you. Like, I don't care what it is. 
purple looks good. It's just finding the right one. You see I have a bluer purple. I have that pinky purple that I'm going to put on first. It's, it's just you have to find your shade. And I can't... Oops. I can't wear every color, but I can wear a lot and make it work. Because when I when I put that on there, I was just like, oh my god, this looks crazy. It's looking weird. Like I said, because I did the darker purple over those browns, and I was like, oh my god, it looks bad. What am I gonna do? Let me put some more purple on there, you know. But you can't tell that I'm freaking out. But on the inside, I'm just like, man. I don't know what I'm doing like but I already started filming so we're just gonna keep going so I put a little more of the lighter purple and I'm actually gonna go in with black and it actually ended up looking really really good I mean I could have done the blue but I would have had to for me I would have had to add a lot more than just glitter for this look for me to actually like it so I'm just gonna take the black right there and I'm just gonna go in and go over everything I just did which I went lightly over it so you could still see it but it darkened it up just a little bit to where I was just like okay it's fine <laughs> like all right it's it's good and I made sure I didn't go all the way up to my eyebrow you see I'm leaving like a space because that makes a huge difference also when you're doing your looks like um, my last video and my one before that I went all the way up to my eyebrow bone and so I didn't put you know a nice gap in there and sometimes it looks funny like I thought it was gonna look funny that I did it with this really really dark transition but since I put highlighter on there it turned out really good I, I was enjoying it I was I was really enjoying it this despite my little freak out cuz you know I always have a mini freak out but I'm gonna take my liner like always cuz my tapes on there and I can do it right and I didn't actually go all the way to my inner corner like I usually do I only went to the middle of my eye and once I stopped there I was like mm, that looks kind of good I was like I liked it I liked how it looked for this look and what I was doing and since it was so dark I just thought it was better to just leave it I'm gonna fix that little spot but I was just looking for something to do a highlight with and I actually went into my other Morphe palette and I was gonna take a pink and I was just like no let me just do a nice beige glittery color and it actually was really nice for this look I just sprayed my palette cuz I was too lazy to put it down spray my brush pick it back up and it still worked obviously you gotta just find ways to get around these things you know you gotta just find these little ways but I was not even done yet you have no idea with this look. I was like, I can't leave it like this. So here I am doing my um, glitter now. I did my other eye off camera and I'm using the NYX glitter glue and I'm also going to use the NYX glitters. Um, I believe they were like four or six dollars each. I'm gonna take um, the purple that I have and it's it's supposed to be red but you can see my eyeshadow is kind of pink and it's purple and that's how the glitter actually showed up on me. So um, I'm just gonna show y'all the process of me putting on glitter. It's really not hard. I do the glue first. I use whatever brush I'm gonna put on and then I put it on there. Like that that's pretty much it. Like. It's really easy I just mix them together I just put them on the surface mind you glitter gets everywhere so once I decided I was gonna use glitter I was really happy I didn't do my face makeup first because this glitter is falling right on my face even though I'm using a tiny tiny bit because I've, I've learned in the past like oh you want to go out and put a whole bunch of glitter on your face yeah okay it's gonna be all over the place my station everything so this side I just took my finger and said because I already put glitter on the brush and I'm gonna just take that same brush and pack that glitter on there really well and it's a, you can build it up like I could went back and put more glitter on top and just really packed it on there but also taking glitter off is not fun so there it is right there <laughs> real easy for y'all Ain't trying to link no time to wish. Uh, 
I was gonna make this a talking one, but they had like an apartment inspection thing going on, so I didn't really want to be mid talking and then have to stop and have my face be done or something. So yeah, but you know, like, subscribe, share. Uh, I'm really proud of my foundation because my skin looks super smooth, even though it's not. And my contour is like cheekbone city, bitch. Like, look at that. But anyways, so yeah, tell me what you guys think, and I will be uploading as much as possible. And I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Peace. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow the